iconic hit comedy Gavin and Stacey first aired in 2007 and fans couldn't be more excited to welcome the show's return. The BBC sitcom is back for a Christmas special with Ruth Jones, James Corden and Joanna Page seen filming on the seafront in blustery South Wales in recent days. This will be the final ever episode of the show, which aired for three series between 2007 and 2010 before returning in 2019 for a previous festive spectacular. There's so much history over the past 17 years here, said writer and director Corden, who plays lovable Smithy, of being back in Bury. I think it's an incredibly special place with really, really special people. The actor-turned-presenter became a huge Hollywood star after the show's original run ended, and he isn't the only star to have been busy. Matthew Horn, Gavin Shipman's sweet Essex lad Gavin was played by Matthew Horn, who doesn't look like Hess aged a day since he was driving up to Barry and enjoying the nightclub foam. Before being cast as Gavin, he appeared in the Catherine Tate show in a number of roles, most notably as the foul-mouthed Nan's grandson Jamie. Matthew, 45, and co-star James Corden were virtually joined at the hip and one year confessed to spending 263 days together. But their partnership hit stumbling blocks when their comedy sketch show Horn and Corden was slated by critics, while their flop film Lesbian Vampire Killers was slammed. Their disastrous presenting role at the Brits put a huge strain on their bromance, with both actors later claiming it was so poor they couldn't even watch it back. They went their separate ways amid claims of a bitter falling out and stopped speaking for a few months as Matthew admitted he retreated after the backlash. Matthew declined to appear on James' episode of Life Stories but in 2016 claimed there was no animosity, saying, Jealousy isn't something I do, I am not a jealous person. I am thrilled about the success he is having. The actor went on to appear as the headmaster in Bad Education, Dad's Army, The Missing Episodes and Agatha Raisin. In December 2018, he was hit by a train following a night out at a pub but miraculously escaped with just a scratch. A friend said it was a miracle he was still alive. In September 2021, the actor married set designer Selena Vasily in a beautiful ceremony in Norway and they welcomed a son together that year. Joanna Page, Stacy Shipman before being cast as Bubbly Berry Girl Stacy, Joanna Page was best known for playing a nude double alongside Martin Freeman in Love Actually. Joanna's life is slightly different from that of her character, most notably because she hasn't been engaged five times. Once the show ended, the actress did voiceovers for a number of commercials such as King's Mill Bread, The Car Phone Warehouse and Super Drug. Joanna, 47, also appeared in Doc Martin, The Syndicate, Nativity 2. Danger in the Manger and as Queen Elizabeth I in the 50th anniversary episode of Doctor Who. Joanna presents BBC One's Shopwell for Less and joined Loose Women as a regular panelist in 2023. She is married to Emmerdale actor James Thornton, who played John Barton, and they share four children. James Corden Smithy not only did he play lovable Smithy, but James Gordon also co-wrote Gavin and Stacey with Fat Friends co-star Ruth Jones. As stated above, James tried to build a TV partnership with best pal Matthew Horn and even admitted for a while they might as well have been one person. The relationship was rumored to have turned sour after a number of failed projects and they parted ways, with funny man James going on to front Sky One's League of Their Own and star in Doctor Who. In 2011, the star was cagey when asked about Horn by Piers Morgan, 
revealing they only spoke occasionally as he discussed the decline of their friendship. There was lots of horrible stuff about us. If I have one regret, it was we just rushed those things. We never stopped to think about the work enough, he reflected. We did our own sketch show but the reaction was fierce. It was hard to go through that. We were riding this amazing wave and then it just dropped. In one year we spent 263 days together and we went from that to nothing. In 2015, James, 46, landed a £10 million deal to front the Late Late Show in Hollywood and became known for his carpool karaoke sketches with famous faces including Adele, Paul McCartney and Madonna. Has starred in films including Into the Woods, Gulliver's Travels, and Cats. James lives in Los Angeles with his wife Julia Carey and their three children. Ruth Jones, Nessa Jenkins Ruth Jones co-wrote the series along with Corden as well as starring as straight-talking fan favorite Nessa. The Little Britain star recorded a version of Islands in the Stream with Rob Brydon as their characters, Nessa and Bryn, which reached number one in the UK charts. Ruth, 57, went on to appear in two BBC period costume dramas. Tess of the D'Urbervilles and Little Dorrit, as well as two episodes of The Street. Then came her next big comedy project, Sky One Stella which she starred in as the title role and co-wrote multiple episodes. She had her own chat show specials, including Ruth Jones' Summer Holiday, Ruth Jones' Easter Treat, and Ruth Jones' Christmas Cracker. She also set up a production company with husband David Pete and has written three novels, Never Greener, Us Three, and Love Untold. Melanie Walters, Gwen West Melanie Walters is one of the only cast members whose career has gone in a very different direction. The Welsh actress played Stacey's kind mum Gwen, who was famously always making omelettes for everyone. Once the show wrapped up, Melanie appeared in Being Human, Casualty and Stella alongside Ruth Jones. But she turned her focus away from acting and set up practical Pilates in Swansea to help locals improve their posture. Melanie, 62, also let self-catering holiday rentals on beauty spot the Gower Peninsula but she was tempted back in front of the cameras in 2019 by Larry Lamb to appear together in the four-part BBC drama Pitching It. Rob Brydon, Bryn West We are all desperate to know what happened on that fishing trip but we don't think Rob Brydon himself even knows. The Welsh actor was already a well-recognised face before Gavin and Stacey, having starred in Marion and Jeff, Black Books. Supernova and as a traffic warden in Lock, Stock, and Two Smoking Barrels. But he really rose to fame playing Stacy's uncle, Bryn West, who was devoted to his family but had a dark secret with his nephew Jason. Rob's career has gone from strength to strength, taking over as the host of BBC's Would I Lie to You? and presenting the Rob Brydon Show and the guest list. The 59-year-old appeared as a dwarf in The Huntsman, Winter's War and has had us all in hysterics alongside Steve Coogan in The Trip, The Trip to Italy, and The Trip to Spain. The father of four has also presented BBC's Would I Lie to You? The Rob Brydon Show and The Guest List. Larry Lamb, Mick Shipman another acting legend who was already famous before the show, Larry Lamb had been in the new Avengers, Minder, The Bill, Casualty, and Spooks. The TV regular then played Gavin's calm and loving dad Mick, who was frequently referred to as being a bit of a player back in the day. During the same time he was cast as iconic EastEnders villain Archie Mitchell, who was brutally killed off in a murder storyline on Christmas Day 2009. In 2016, 
The 76-year-old had a successful stint in the Emma Celebrity Jungle and has gone on to work with his real-life son, presenter George Lamb. Alison Steadman, Pam Shipman Another high-profile actress who joined the cast, Alison Steadman was an Olivier Award-winning theatre star, TV favourite and had been in many films before she was cast as Pam Shipman. Alison first met Ruth and James while playing Betty in Fat Friends and was given the role of Gavin's overbearing mother, who fawned over her little prince. Once Gavin and Stacy ended, Alison, 78, appeared in Lewis, Boomers and alongside John Cleese in Hold the Sunset. In 2021, she starred in The King's Man. Alison is married to actor Michael Elwin and the couple live in London. She is an ambassador for London Wildlife Trust and is an avid birdwatcher. Margaret John Doris O'Neill possibly the funniest character in the entire show, Maneater Doris was always hooking up with younger men and making suggestive comments to Nervous Gavin. Doris was played by BAFTA award-winning actress Margaret John, who has appeared in Coronation Street, Doctor Who, Little Britain, Emmerdale and Last of the Summer Wine. Sadly, the actress passed away in hospital in 2011 aged 84. Her final ever role, which was released after her death, was as Old Nan in Game of Thrones. The 2019 Christmas special paid tribute to Margaret by including her in a post-credit dedication featuring a photograph of the actress sat at a drum kit. A version of this story was originally published earlier this year.